Hey marketing students, good morning. Uh, as you know, I'm not here today, so uh, here's my lecture that we need to go through today and then I'll explain the activity for today. We'll try to keep this short. So we're talking about variables of segmentation. Variables of segmentations are basically the way that we break down groups of people to help identify markets or market segments. According to this, a market segment is a group of individuals or organizations within larger market share uh, in a market that share one or more important characteristics. So, for example, um, middle-aged mothers with kids in grade school would be a market. Baby boomers would be a market based off of uh, my parents who were in their 70s are baby boomers and they're retired or just getting ready to retire and uh, spending money on travel and the kids are gone. Um, my wife and I who don't have kids would be a market segment because we spend our money differently than our friends that do have kids. Um, we have different beliefs or values, um, could be based on where we live or what we do and how we spend our money and how much money we make or um, what our hobbies and interests and activities and stuff are as individuals. We figure out those sort of characteristics and then we group them with the other millions of people in the world or in the U.S. or wherever who you're trying to sell to. Um, and those, that large group of people with those similar characteristics are your market. Okay, so this, the person who buys Coke versus Diet Coke are two different segments. They're two different types of customers and the reasons that they buy that product over the other is different. Okay, so we do that. We break those segments down by, you, by any or the following um, approaches. So we've got geographics, demographics, psychographics, and product usage. All right, so let's break these down individually. Geographics is the easiest one to get your head wrapped around. It's about... Uh, where do they live? So the the geographic market for the Green Bay Packers is the greater Wisconsin market, also including um, parts of um, Florida and Arizona as we have a large amount of Wisconsin people that have retired to those markets. Geographically, that's where the majority of those customers live. The, <coughs> the geographic market of Eaton's Pizza is the greater Fond du Lac area and the greater Oshkosh area because that's where their two uh, restaurants are. We don't get people from Chicago driving up to Fond du Lac to get a Eaton's Pizza. It doesn't happen. Um, the Fox River Mall, which we'll talk about, the greater the the primary market for Fox River Mall customers is everywhere up from Green Bay all the way over to Wausau um, to the to Lake Michigan and down just outside of Fond du Lac. That greater area is the primary market for Fox River Mall. That's where the majority of their customers come from. That determines who they serve, who they who the how they advertise, who they advertise to, that sort of thing. Okay? So we can break our customers down by where they live. It may be very small based on a zip code or regionally, or it may be based on state or nation nationally. Okay? So that sort of things are those examples are geographics. Demographics is probably the most commonly used one or discussed, and when we talk about demographics, we're discussing um, the age. High school students have different buying preferences than people in their 30s like me. The same goes to my parents who are in their 70s. We buy different things. We shop differently. We have different um, needs and, um, and wants. Males buy things differently than females. Family size is different than, the, than those that don't. Um, so I, I don't have kids, but a good friend of mine do. They have got four kids. They spend their money a lot differently than I do. And as a result, they're, they're advertised and marketed too differently. Stage of the family life cycle. Kids or families with young kids, grade school or infants, again, much different buying preferences than those that have kids in high school versus are in college or graduated and empty nesters. Changes differently. My parents spend money much differently now than they did when I wasn't living in their house. It's just the way it is. Um, income has a huge thing to do with it. Obviously, the more money you have, the more money you have to spend. Um, and that changes, that fluctuates. fluctuates. Your occupation, your education have a, have a big impact on that, um, on what you spend and how you spend and, and who your potential customers are. Um, your religion may have a huge impact. Look at Hobby Lobby and how their religion impacts their business and the customers that shop there. Chick-fil-A had the same sort of um, considerations. 
Some stores are not open on Sunday because of religion. Others are. Uh, it's just a difference in, um, in facts. Uh, and then nationality, race, and ethnicity. Um, makeup, for example. Um, in markets that have got a higher concentration of African American um, people living in the area, they'll have a wider variety of African American um, oriented products for uh, skin care or hair care. It's a different market. They have different needs. Therefore, they, they will offer products and services that best fit those customers. That could have to do with um, with food as well. Um, how many uh, Mexican restaurants do we have here in um, or Mexican Hispanic uh, stores do we have in Fond du Lac versus in a highly populated uh, Hispanic neighborhoods maybe um, south of here. That could be different also. So that's demographics. Psychographics is a little different as also. It's a different way to think about it. That is your social class, upper class, middle class, lower class. Um, that may be based on geography also. Typically people sort of flock together so you may have lower income pockets within certain cities and you have higher income populations of suburbs or things like that. Uh, your lifestyles uh, and your activities and interests are very um, segregating per se. So my lifestyle, uh, I do a lot of outdoor activities. So I do a lot of mountain biking and skiing. That defines what I, what I purchase and my interests and habits and activities and where I spend my money and how I spend my vacation money and things like that. Uh, voting parties, demographic, or your Democrats versus Republican versus, say, Independent, has got a huge impact. Um, there are a number of people that may not even support certain companies because they either support or don't support their voting parties or their um, elected officials. That has a big impact to it. And opinions go along the same way also. So that's psychographics. It's getting in your head and what do you think and why do you think that way and how, do you, how does your perceptions of what you think affect what you buy. And the last one is product usage. So you got, again, we've got geographics, demographics, and psychographics. The last one is product usage. That is how we use the product um, and our consumer knowledge about that product and our response to the marketing mix and our loyalty. I'm a pretty loyal customer for certain products. Um, one of the brands I really enjoy is called Patagonia. They make uh, outdoor clothing company. Uh, they're an outdoor clothing company. They're very dedicated to the environment which I'm, um, which defines me psychographically. And uh, they also have a very high quality product that I will only have to buy once and I know is gonna last me 10, 15 years. It's very expensive. I know I'm gonna pay twice as much as something else for it, but if, I, but if it's gonna last me twice as long, I know it's gonna last longer and it's gonna be better for me long, or long term. So I'm loyal to that product because of it. Um, and there's a lot of products that I sort of feel that way. Some people feel that way about Chevy versus Ford versus Dodge, that sort of thing. Um, I think I mentioned this about Hummer uh, utility vehicles. Uh, when those were popular a number of years ago, the average person for those used those products um, to primarily go shopping versus off seas. I'm recording a video. Give me a minute. So your user, your user status and how you're using those video or how you're using those products are really important to define your product usage. All right, let me explain your project for today. You've got two sets of activities. The first one is um, identifying the differences between Coke Zero and Pepsi Max. Both are products that are aimed after um, a customer that have dietary um, concerns or. Uh, are concerned about their image and diet and weight re restrictions. But they both serve a little bit different markets. So go through and read this. And there's a couple of questions there. I want you to answer those for that. The second one is in regarding a radio station. Most radio stations are segmented based off of a particular product uh, or style of music, whether it be oldies or country or rock or something like that, maybe even talk radio, sports radio. In this case, the radio station is is proposing that they are going to do a... Uh, radio station that has got everything under the sun on it. So your questions are going to be based off of whether or not you think that that's going to work and how their defiance of market segmentation as a concept will or won't work. Okay, so that's it. 
So go back and review any of that content, answer these eight questions, and when you're done, turn it in, and we'll review that on Tuesday when I get back. Thanks. Have a good day, guys.